for a couple years now, when you uh, go to color.adobe.com, uh, you're forwarded to this URL here with this content, and you get um, the tour. Probably a good idea to go ahead and take the tour. I'll let you do that on your own. Uh, but right here, you notice you've got a color wheel, and these five colors, which are these five colors, and analogous is chosen. Now, I'm not going to explain all of the different color harmonies right now. I'll let you discover it, but analogous colors are three adjacent colors in the color wheel. Um, so, wherever you drag this center point, see this one in the center has that little triangle? That triangle right there. Okay, so this is going to set where, what value, and then how saturated your colors are. When they're completely saturated, typically they don't look as good. They're a little garish and don't seem as pleasant to the eye. So I'll let you play around. You can drag these individual handles, um, but depending on how you do it, um, you can kind of just separate everything. You can make one a little darker, a little more uh, intense, a little less saturated, pulling it in. Um, so you can adjust these uh, to, to eye. And then you can go ahead and save out your colors. Go ahead, give them names, tag them. You have to be logged in for all this to work with your account. Um, but you can go ahead and try. What's monochromatic look like? What's triad? You know, go ahead and click through these. Extract theme from photographs, images. You know, it, so that's pretty cool. Same thing with gradients. And then the accessibility tools are all about color blindness and contrast and accessibility issues. So very cool stuff. Play around with this and find, you know, uh, a color harmony that you f would like to work with and um, try an experiment. Something simple. Go ahead and compose, you know, arrange things in a pleasant manner and put them on your, in your uh, journal as works in progress. You're learning about color harmonies. You know, this is an example of a square color harmony and you go ahead and pick out the colors that you like and you've seen my uh, little color harmony uh, rectangles that had the five colors on them. I showed you those in the other videos. You figure out how to arrange yours and convey a little professionalism. It'll be a work in progress at first, but, you know, that's how things go. Cool color harmony. Maybe name that and save it.